branding stones can be used to apply to brand and apply additional effects to standard and ultimate weapons weapons can be branded through weapon enhancement okay new draw we do know now that this ultimate weapon is part of the same banner oh this new cloud exclusive weapon grants haste to the caster the first time it's used wait a minute, time shop this will be uh yep 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 this will be the the uh red crystal stuff a new type of weapon, ultimate weapons. Having learned that all new ultimate weapons had been completed, Sephiroth and the others gather together. To think even Glenn made it, and on time no less. Let's hope we won't see a rain of chocobos later. Lamau. So the Genji Blade ultimate weapon, Flash of Steel, it gets two uses. Inflicts 2,000 non-elemental physical and magic damage upon a single enemy, plus colossally increases the ma caster's physical attack and magic attack. So it does a limit break level of damage and also colossally increases attack. I wonder if you have to, cause it's in the draw pool, right? I wonder if we have to overboost this or if you just need one. There's so many things that it goes back multiple pages. <laughs> multiple pages. So story party retention, new feature will be added to allow story parties to be retained. This is super cool. I hate having to redo the story parties when I'm trying to do the harder, uh, like the extra fights and stuff. Co-op battle, boss cinematic skip function. Co-op battles will be modified. So if one player presses the skip button, boss's entrance will sequence will be skipped. Thank you. Additional materia synthesis quest. New difficulties have been added to synthesis quest. Four star synth catalyst will be added to drop contest. Nice. Okay, this is cool. Adjustments have made to that in the period chocobo chest. It's cool. Adjustments have been made to the content of free daily pack. We've already seen that. Oh, we haven't seen this yet. This will be in the shop. Deal shop lineup adjustment. We'll check that as well. The exchange with exchange, the enhancement exchange will be modified so the scroll bar will be displayed and exchange. Okay. Game environment improvements, slow burn, settings, blah, 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 blah. Memory load, okay. Event preparation. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, all that's normal. Okay, great. So, first and foremost, we have the Day of Seven gift, which means they're going to give us a thousand crystals just for, uh, just for it being the seventh day of the month. First anniversary event, the Cetra story, Birth of Destroyers on now. This is the event that's going on. We get enhancement items. We can get the Alba Blade, which is Runra Impact. Physical attack up 31. AOE non-elemental attack four. Okay, nothing crazy there. Bahamut Alba. Tips for conquest. Non-elemental attacks are extremely effective against Bahamut, so be sure to include the Yeah, of course, of course. Also, since powerful attacks are being used, physical attack down and magic attack down are effective. Good, good, good. Obviously, you get reward bonuses for using the uh, equipment that's in the draw. Da, 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 da. Exchangeable. Yep, yep, yep. Draw information. This is the first draw. We'll be able to look at that later. Oh, that's going to be cool. That wallpaper is going to be sick. This is what the one I'm really excited about. The battle tower. Because if we, this one's going to have a lot of really, really good rewards. And it's going to have, looks like it's going to have ultimate weapons as well. So this will be the first thing we look at. I also um, updated the spreadsheet that I did for the Cat Crew Guild that included all of the elemental weapons in the game. Um, I did not include healing weapons because I didn't realize that healing weapons were part of it, which does change things a little bit. However, I did do all of the elemental weapons. So I did fire, ice, lightning, water, wind, and earth. I did not do the healing ones. I can I can update that later just to try to give everybody a an idea of what I think is the best options. For everyone looks like we're getting two per element which is dope the new item ultimate metal that can be contained as the first clear reward can be exchanged for ultimate weapons of the exchange ultimate metals can also be claimed in other events get up to 200 ultimate metals from this event okay and then you can get a title for clearing stuff okay cool all right here we go first anniversary limit break draw cloud on now oh this is a one-time only draw i'm sorry okay this is a specifically a cloud specific anniversary draw I gotcha. So this is this is a red crystal. This is a red crystal pull. Sorry. All right, a new type of weapon, ultimate weapons. Ultimate weapons are will be equipped in a special weapon slot different from the regular weapon slot. Ultimate weapons would equipped have the following effects. Weapon stats are reflected. UC abilities can be used in battle. Our abilities are reflected. Ultimate weapons can be obtained from certain draws and exclusive exchanges. Ultimate weapons have levels and their stats can be increased by weapon enhancement. Weapon types that can be equipped from vary from vary character to character. In addition to not being able to be equipped in regular weapon slots, ultimate weapons do not have regular C abilities. Ultimate weapons cannot be overboosted or have their rarity upgraded. Okay, so once you get it once, you're done. That's dope. I like that. Equipping an ultimate weapon allows for the use of new UC abilities, which are unique to each ultimate weapon, expanding your range of strategy. If you have an ultimate weapon equipped, you can use these abilities in battle. 
They can be used without consuming the ATB gauge. There's a limit to the number of times UC abilities can be used during a single battle and a charge time is required before they can be used. Okay, so you can't just immediately use it right off the rip. That makes sense. Brands. Using a branding stone. Brands is a new feature that adds new effects to weapons. Branding stones can be used to brand weapons and apply new effects. The effects and their values are chosen at random, but the type of stone dictates what effects are more likely to be chosen. Weapons can also be rebranded, allowing you to choose between keeping the current effects or overriding them with the new ones. We'll have to check that out later. First anniversary campaign on right now. This is where we get the free daily draw, which obviously you want to make sure you're doing this every single day. First anniversary, one gear set of your choice. And then obviously we already saw the login bonuses for this. This is all locked. So now we get to see what we're getting. Okay, let's see. Barrow weapons, heavy hauser, and enemy launcher. And they're just okay. <clears throat> Fairy tale and mithril rod. Those are both just okay. Edged wings is really, really good for evokes that don't have them have it maxed out. Uh, so is Aeon, Aeonibi, I think is how you say this. Aeonibi. I don't know how to say that. But like both of those are really good. If you don't have them maxed out, like Lemmy. <clears throat> uh, Tifa weapons, leather gloves and lifeguard wraps. Uh, outdated lifeguard wraps are. Leather gloves is a really good physical attack debuffing weapon. Matt weapons, centipede and core defender. Those are both just, they're okay. Um, Lucy weapons, holiday revolver is huge. That's a great pull. That's a great pull. Diner Train and Arctic Star are both great weapons for Yuffie. Rage Collar and Ivy Collar are both great weapons for Red 13. Quicksilver and Gilded Age. Uh, Quicksilver is pretty good. Gilded Age is just okay. And then Green Megaphone and Yellow Megaphone are both just okay. <clears throat> Green Megaphone is, is a really good water debuffing weapon. So that's pretty good. Log in to get a massive amount of useful items, such as Four Star Cure and Stamina Tonic. Cool. Useful item gift is available now. Then we also get Astro Winds and a Lottery Box. Five star guaranteed free draw. This five star guaranteed character changes daily. Draw every single one to get at least 13 or more five star weapons. Dope. So today's five star guaranteed weapon draw is for Aerith. Okay. Panel missions. Those, this will be like the Monster Hunter one. Oh, that shows everybody's outfits. Oh, hey, that Chocobo's cool. I want a Bahamut Chocobo. So I have to check out the Chocobos. 100% reward increase in premium weapon enhancement synthesis quest. I'm glad I didn't do the premium quest yet. All characters experience 200% increase during this period. Character exp uh, wow, a thousand? Okay, so anybody that's not playing right now, this is massive. You'll get to level 60 so fucking fast. That's crazy. Player experience 2000% increase is pretty wild. Okay, cloud limit break draw, let's see what it does. Oh, hey. In this draw, the appearance rate of the following a limit, uh, following a new limit break weapon and an ultimate weapon have increased. Also, you can acquire new gear on the stamp card for a limited time. The limit break weapon from Cloud Limit Break Draw will not be added to any other draw. The limit break weapon and gear feature in this draw may reappear in future reawakened draws or for other reasons. No limit break weapons other than Bahamut Greatsword will appear in this gotcha. Ultimate weapons are not limited edition weapons. Newly introduced ultimate weapons will be included in the up certain upcoming draws. Okay, so the, the Sephiroth weapon can be included in different draws. That's good to know. Sephiroth exclusive weapon, weapon Genji Blade will also be featured in draws held this month. Other Okay, so the Genji Blade is going to be in all of the banners. Yup. You already own an ultimate weapon attainable from draw. If a duplicate is drawn, the weapon will instead be sent to the armory. Turning on auto convert will convert, well, will convert any weapon sent to the armory, okay? Fierce Claw inflicts up to 800% non-elemental physical damage upon all enemies, plus grants haste to the caster the first time it's used and inflicts up to 40,000 additional non-elemental physical potency damage when the caster's HP is 50% or more. Uh, I mean, that's that's a lot. We'll have to see what, what, that, um, what that entails. Additional damage separate to normal damage. The new effects additional damage has been active or added, that's fine. New R ability added. Interruption mastery. Ability damage boosted when interrupted. Okay. Regarding Mako gems for the Genji blade. Get Mako gem as a bonus every time you perform a 10 draw. Collect Mako gems to exchange them for a Genji blade, greater branding stones, and more. Okay. So the Mako gems is how you get it. Okay. So I think that's everything. So let's go ahead and go through the anniversary stuff right now. Good lord. <laughs> Okay, so it's Cloud, Aerith, Tifa, and Yuffie. Yeah, I think the Tifa one's gonna be a fan favorite. All right, first anniversary packs. Uh, for 300 red crystals, this is incredible. 
That's a full that's a full pull for cloud weapons and a five star weapon for cloud. That's a very good that's a very good return on investment there. Uh oh, this looks better. Uh that's mithril ore. So yeah. Check your daily shop every day. There's just mithril ore in here. What the hell? Or the guild shop? That's mithril ore again. Yeah, no, that's good. All right, so we get one or more for Aerith. Five-star weapons are guaranteed from this draw. We're gonna go ahead and do the pull. Skip with the belt. Boom. Oh, we got two. Fairy tail and full metal staff. Okay. Not a bad pull. We got our free daily draw. We're gonna do this as well. Oh. Glenn, personal style. All right, let's take a look. So at one copy, it does physical attack all allies again, which is what his other limit break weapon does. Physical ability potency, which is very good. Uh, great materia slots, physical attack boost and circle sigil, that's great. 430% physical non-elemental damage all enemies crit percent 10% uses haste the first time you use it gives you 20% or 20 seconds of haste if your HP is 50% or more deals 10,000 additional non-elemental physical potency damage no crit on this one so that's a flat amount right at OB 10 it goes to almost 700 strength which is massive and goes up to 40,000 so each break points another 10,000. So if you get two copies of this, it goes to 20,000, I assume. The OB6 break point is 30,000 and a 670%. So uh, to put this in perspective, the only thing that does this level of damage with non-elemental is, um, or I'm sorry, the only thing that does this amount of damage at all in the game right now is elemental weapons. Non-elemental damage can only get to that level with uh, crits. And even then with the crits, it's, it's, you know, it's only 10% of the time, right? The question that I have is, I assume that these will be calculated separately. So this flat 40,000 is just gonna be added after the fact. I'll be honest, 800% is really low. Not for an AOE weapon, for an AOE weapon, it's really high. And 40,000 additional damage is a lot. That's nothing to sneeze at, it's a lot of damage. But like to put it in perspective, we'll go, I'll show you this really quickly. Cloud's Zidane Sword, which was just available in the last thing. At OB at OB1, it does 780%, which is 20% less damage than that weapon at OB10. So you have to get 10 copies or 11 copies of that weapon to get it to do more damage than Zidane Sword at OB6. So if you have Zidane Sword at OB6, you're doing more damage than that thing does flat. And if you have this at OB10, this is doing 1300% physical damage, which is massive. But the thing that the issue that I have with the flat 40k is that it's gonna get outscaled, right? Like as the game continues to progress, HP levels are gonna get higher, damage numbers are gonna get higher. 40,000 is not gonna be a big number. Oh my god, am I gonna skip this banner? <laughs> I can't believe it. After all that waiting, I think I might actually skip this. That's crazy, dude. I think I might though. I just want to peek at this Maelstrom Tower real quick. Mission, what do we got? Basement 10, you get some ultimate medals, ultimate medals, ultimate medals, ultimate medals, okay. Exchange. These are the healing weapons. Interesting. They limited what was available. I mean, the good news is, is that like, these are the two weapons that I would have chosen anyways. I, this shouldn't even be in here. This is only in here because of fire resist decreases. I didn't think this was going to be included. Okay. Bald Eagles included. Interesting. Spiral Shuriken. Definitely going to be Electro Cannon for me for this. Water's got bunny gloves. And Slay the Day, dude. Genji Blade. It gives 20 points of boost ability potency, which is good. Physical attack is increased extra high, extra high. Okay. So this might be plus four again, even though it's a colossal. An interruption mastery. 
if the enemies interrupted ability potency plus 60 percent interesting so i mentioned before when we were talking about weapons in ever crisis that they hadn't really given us a reason to do things like the uh the stun and poison and stuff like that this is their way of getting around that right yeah i need to get back to rebirth as well i've been slacking i need to get back to it that is funny okay here we go ultimate buster sword okay here we go let's read through all these these are all of the available ultimate weapons to exchange with the exchange medals that you get from the tower ultimate braver does a thousand damage physical attack is decreased with high potency magic attack is decreased high potency it's a debuffing weapon for cloud with physical defense and ability potency this is okay it's all right barrett's physical defense is increased all allies 20 seconds that's pretty big and a heal oh it's it's literally the it's is it just going to be their abilities no this is different all right so that was that was a physical attack defense or i'm sorry physical defense all they have our abilities dude this is nuts this is going to change all of the like the builds as terms of like efficient builds and stuff because these are going to have maxed out our abilities you just have to level these up ultimate lover Glo leather gloves is tornado shot thousand damage physical attack is increased mid all allies it's an a oh my god it's aoe magic and physical attack up well that's this is automatically a priority this is the only aoe magic attack increase in the game unless somebody else got it magic heal is cast all allies regen is applied all allies only three seconds removes physical down magic down this is still this is good too this is a good healing weapon magic heal is cast also regen is applied this one's just okay this one's probably the worst one right now of the ones that we've seen this one's probably the worst which again i mean get red 13. i i don't understand why the people at applebot they like hate red 13 but that's easily the worst one uh here's another one yuffie's yuffie's does the same thing tifa's does oh that's huge because kate's is like built around his limit breaks and his crit his crit chance this is cool and he can choose which person he does this to and it's got buff debuff extension this is really strong that's a really good weapon. Ultimate Quicksilver increases limit gauge by 40% for Vincent is wild considering all his uh, limit break builds. Ability potency again. Type 99 Longsword. Defense is down high for both. Pretty good. Nameless is just a damage weapon. Uh, considering he has an ultimate weapon in the draw right now, this is a little disappointing compared to the others, but still not bad. Magic defense has increased all allies. So this is an AOE M, de M defense, which is good. I would have thought that Matt would have gotten that. 25% max HP heal. This is huge. Is that what Eris did? No, it's a healing potency one. This is massive. So right now, the biggest issue that we're having that we've learned into as a community is that our HP has been going so high that our healing potency hasn't been strong enough to keep up to get us back up to those breakpoints for the new weapons where you have to be like 70% HP in order for the secondary effect to go off. They, we haven't had a, we, our heals have not been strong enough to deal with that. So people, instead of running HP weapons, have been running weapons with like defensive stats, like physical defense, magic defense, etc. Uh, what this does is this says, oh, you have 20,000 HP. Well, this is now a 5,000 heal, which is, you know, pretty good. It also removes physical defense and magic defense down, which is also very good. This is definitely the better healing weapon of the two. Interesting. So this one is a physical attack and magic attack increase. Did I miss that with Yuffie's? Was Yuffie's single target as well? It was. It was self. That's why. Okay, it was self. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So Yuffie only buffs herself high and high. Tifa does AOE all allies. This is still the best one by far. But um, this one is also very good because this one you get to choose which one gets the buff. And then it also comes with buff debuff extension 20, which is an 80% increase. So that means this is almost going to be a full minute that this will last, which is really, really good. So this is this is also very good. I'll, I'll do a little like a little breakdown of this after the fact. Because obviously we need to get to the 100 medals before it even matters anyways. But if we can get up to 200 medals from this event, it seems pretty, pretty likely that 
getting Tifa's because Tifa's included on a lot of builds right now, both physical and magic builds. And having her have the ability to AOE increase your physical attack and magic attack for all of your allies after just 30 seconds of the fight is a, is a pretty big boost. So that's the ultimate weapons. We'll do a full breakdown of that later. Yeah, we'll do a full breakdown of that later. Let's go back to the draw. So back to this weapon. It is very good, right? It's very good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dance around the fact, right? The fact is, is that this weapon is strong. It applies haste, which is strong. It has physical attack all allies, which is a great R ability. Physical ability potency is also very good. At max overboost, it goes with 39, which is a great break point. 39 gets you to plus 60% damage. Makes it very easy then for a cloud to uh, reach this cap because the cap is only 55 points. Not very hard to get to that level. Uh, depending on what this does, it is separate, okay. Um, that's pretty easy to get to. The issue with this weapon is the same issue that it is with all limited weapons in that in order for this to really hit levels that are worth pulling for, you're gonna wanna have an OB6 version of it at least to deal the, the pretty decent, not good, but decent physical attack damage. And then the additional 30,000 damage is massive. So like, this will be a pretty big AOE nuke. It, it's like I said, it's caps out though, right? Like the second they start increasing damage numbers, and again, like his, his Zidane sword does so much more damage in a single target. And AOE has not been necessary in this game right we've not been fighting three bosses the only time we've seen that is with the turks and the turks don't come around that often to justify having this weapon ob10 so i i don't know i'm a little i'm a little underwhelmed by this overall i'm not super impressed by it to be absolutely honest with you and like i said it's a lot of damage but elemental builds will always will always cap over this like I've shown you before with some of my elemental builds, you see my Tifa hit for like 130,000, right? And so like if this one does with a crit at 800%, it's never gonna be super effective. So it's only gonna be flat damage. So let's say it does that 800% damage and it hits for, you know, let's say even 20,000, which is pretty high. And then it adds 40,000 onto it. That's gonna be a 63,000 or a 60,000 damage hit. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not impressed by this weapon. I'm really not. It's, it's something about this weapon that doesn't sit well with me. I, I doesn't seem very good. You have to invest too heavily to make this like a, a useful offensive weapon. A 30 second haste is cool. And it lets him like outpour, like it lets him pour out damage, which it needs to be calculated into this, right? I don't know. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thrilled. I think this is really mid. This is a really boring weapon. I can't believe I'm saying that about something that says it does 40,000 additional non elemental damage, but like, this is not a high figure. I wanna like, I wanna showcase this really quick because I feel like I'm not, I'm not um, necessarily doing a good job of um, explaining my point. But so like this, this weapon is currently at 580%, which is only like 200% less than an OB-10 version of this Bahamut weapon. And obviously with the super effective damage, it's gonna be higher. But even on a neutral fight, like this thing's gonna be doing about 15,000 damage. So I guess in the in the terms of like a neutral fight, it would be better. But again, this is a very under-leveled weapon. It is like generically good, the weapon is. It's not bad, but it just takes so much investment to to justify the, the crystal spent. You have to get at least six copies of that to make it worth it. And that's such a massive investment. Like you see my point, right? If you have a super effective hit, 78,000 damage, there's no way that weapon's gonna match up to that. And like the counter claim would be, well, there'll be times where you don't have an element that's super effective. And I'd argue back like, yes, that's true. But in the same vein, your elemental damage is likely going to be stronger in those circumstances than the non-elemental damage is, even when it's not super, unless they resist it, which is because a completely different conversation, right? That's a completely different conversation. I'd be interested to see what some of the other folks in the community say about this, because like, and there's a strong chance that some of these other banners are just better than Cloud's, right? It's just weird that Cloud's banner is kind of like, eh. You know what I mean? Let's check the stamp card. 
So you get a five star guaranteed on stamp four. You get the weapon on stamp six, outfit on stamp 12, that's normal. Okay, so this is, okay. If you went all in on this, you would have to pull, no, it'd be three copies, right? Yeah, it'd be three. Because you have three here, you need six, six additional on top of this. So you need to get three. You need to get three and two, you do get two additional five-star guarantees on top of the four guaranteed weapons. Okay, and then the pull odds, 0.3% for the Genji Blade. 1.5% for the Bahamut Sword, which is slightly higher than the uh, wish list items. Uh, if you were going to pull on this banner, let's go ahead and pull this up really quick. We're gonna look for physical ability potency pretty much exclusively here because Cloud has a lot of options for physical attack. Um, so we'd be looking for any physical ability potency. Uh, obviously, enemy launcher is a great one. Comes with boost physical ability potency 52. This gets it up to 26. If you get his weapon to OB 10, that gets it up to 39 that 26 points puts you well over the threshold and then you are done just like that another option is glenn's automatic which is one of the free weapons that we got it goes up to 39 this unfortunately goes down to 19 uh which is oh that's still enough isn't it 19 plus 39 is 58 right yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. okay this is way better so yeah no it'd be automatic for sure It'd be automatic for sure. Cause this gives you the boost 39 physical ability potency that you need to max that out. Also gives you 31 boost attack, which is great. So that's the first thing first and foremost. Past that, now your physical ability potency is maxed out. Your uh, boost attack all allies can be maxed out because he's got two options there. So now you're just trying to boost physical attack basically. And uh, to be honest, again, he doesn't really need help with that. But if you wanted to, you could look at some of Zach's weapons because Zach has a couple of options that um, that go to boost uh, 62. Pressure Ridge is one of them. Goes up to boost 62. This also pairs really well with Cloud's ultimate or his other, his other limit break weapon. The ice limit break weapon is an ice weapon. So this would be a fun sub weapon to kind of supplement that. That gives you plus 31. And then you could also look at things like the ceremonial sword that would get you over the top uh the black whiskers would also get you over the top with another 31 points there whichever one gives more attack is probably the one i would choose probably ceremonial sword then this gives you 23 plus the additional oh i guess that wouldn't get you over the top right they wouldn't get you to boost they wouldn't get you to uh to seven you do black whiskers and uh and pressure ridge pressure pressure ridge is a 660 attack with uh, 31 there and then this one, how much was this? 628, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. And boost water potency again is great for Cloud because he has a really good water weapon as well that he can supplement as well. Um, obviously, if you're gonna be running a physical attack weapon in his offhand, then you only need one. So if I put pressure ridge here, uh, then the rest of this wish list, I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I just don't think it matters. You can kind of get whatever you want. This, uh, you could also look to try to boost the rest of his attack, like just regular attack. So if you wanted to go that route instead, you could look at boost attack to try to finish that off. You'd probably be looking for another um, 62. Yeah, less attack though, but that's an option. Oh, floral wand. There you go, boost 62. There you go, probably floral wand. So yeah, you can put floral wand here and that would be his last sub weapon. And then his last sub slots uh, flexible. You can put whatever you want. You can put HP, you can put physical defense in there, uh, basically whatever you want. So options are pretty much endless at that point. It's, it's a good build, right? It's not a bad build. I'm not trying to like poo poo the build itself. This is also a good option, has boost ability potency, but the attack's a little bit lower as a result. Yeah, maybe maybe this, you'd be a little bit under the, uh, the threshold for a max boost attack. So you wouldn't get quite the maximum amount of damage, but increasing your limit break by, uh, by 40% is pretty cool. I think I'd probably just do Floral Wand personally, just because Floral Wand's generically a little bit more useful because it's good for debuffing physical defense, good for debuffing wind defense. Just again, generically good. Oh, I should pull at least once on this. Yeah, I'm just not impressed. I'm not impressed by this weapon at all. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let, um, I'm gonna go talk to some other, or talk to some other folks in the community. I'm gonna let some people post their thoughts online maybe read their thoughts through. Well, let's see what we get for a five-star weapon for, for Vincent real quick. All right, what do we get? Oh, nice. Sharp Bill is a very good win weapon. Very, very good. That's a great pull. Oh, boom. Yeah, no, it's a great weapon. All blues. All right, let's get that out of the way. What the hell? All blues. Just one, what do we get? Not Bald Eagle. 
Oh, Marine Shooter's in there. Nice. I didn't even know that. Yes, I saw Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're gonna get another five star right now. Tits. Okay. It's not working. The one time we didn't skip, we got something. The rest of the times we did, and we didn't get shit. We're done. That's the last time. We're watching it all the way through. I give up. That's right. Ha! Ha! Told you! <laughs> all I had to do is say it out loud. All right, Glam, what did you get? Ultimatic, 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 ultimatic. Damn it. They're just like, personal style. <laughs> But what if no? What if no god please no? <laughs> That's okay. Or a deflect, I'm down for that. Let's go. How about two? We haven't seen two yet. We got a lot of like all blues. I think we deserve a two. Nope, just one. What'd we get? Uh, that's not a terrible pull, but I don't really use the mithril type katana as you can see Not a terrible pull though. That one's an attack boost attack and boost ability potency. I think All blues again. Really? Really? After I watched that all the way through. Are we kidding? Are we kidding? Are we kidding? <laughs> all right, 10 Zach draws. Come on, Zach. Come on, Zach If the marine shooter is in there, that means pressure ridge is in here, too I'd be down for a pressure ridge here Give me some pressure ridge parts, please. Please. Yeah, dodge roll, let's go. Who's this for again? Which character? Zach, right? Yeah, Zach. All right. Not twinkling star, please. Please not twinkling star. Nice. Wait, is that defender? Okay, I didn't say that. That's my fault. <laughs> I didn't need that one either. <laughs> that's that's my no, nah, it's my fault. It's my fault. I only said the one. They listened. They did what they were supposed to do. That's my bad. That's my fault. Oopsie doodle. All right, let's try skipping once. Here we go. Ba ah, boom. Oh, hey, there you go. What'd you get for us, Vincent? Show me another short barrel. Ooh. Nice. That's his AOE debuff weapon, if memory serves. Got 10 for Kate, Ziff. Help me out here. I need a flower vase. Give me a flower vase, please. Please. That's all I need. They're just like, all right, here's your flower vase. It's a blue. Just like you. Damn it, dude. It was blue. Hate my life. <laughs> oh, got one. Oh, goody, Twin Viper, my favorite weapon. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's not bad. That's her earth weapon, right? Razor ring, yeah. That's her magic earth weapon. It's a nice sub weapon for Vincent. Down for that. Haven't really had to use Vincent very much since the uh, that guild battle way back when. I doubt they added those weapons. Those were just in banners, not even a month ago. So, five star weapon is Mithril Rod. Not bad. We are getting all of our bad pulls out of the way though. Twenty draws for Tifa. Uh, Tifa, there's actually quite a bit that I'd be happy with here. I think the only thing I don't want are her crystal gloves and her. Nope, that's it. Just her crystal gloves. And the lifeguard wraps. Definitely don't need the lifeguard wraps. They just gave us another lifeguard wrap. I definitely don't need any more lifeguard wraps. Boop, boop, boop. Always happy to see a Tifa five star. Tifa is one of the best characters in this game. There are very few weapons in this that I would be unhappy to see. Okay, we get two. Making up for some of the crappy pulls from before. Let's go. Ooh, that's a really good pull. Yeah, Holy Flame Gloves is a really good pull. Nice. Oh, is that fucking... I thought that was Feather Gloves and Sonic Striker. Dang it. It's okay. Wow, I got two for Tifa again. 
That's feathered gloves, baby. Let's fucking go. Yes. You'll have to see it. And Shell Knuckles. Oh shit, what a pull. Shell Knuckles is probably the best ticket weapon in the pool right now. That's an insane pull. That's an insane pull. What a what a draw. That makes up for all the blues the blue the all blues that we got. A few moments later. I'm pulling once. Let's let's just look. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> That's it. One pull. One pull. I'm gonna wait for Tifa's banner. I wonder what the animation is when you get the six star. I'll go down to 36. Because 36 is what I need to guarantee the Tifa outfit. It is pretty yes, five star, let's go. It is pretty low odds, the uh, the 12 stamp is. You're, you're more likely to get uh, Sephiroth's ultimate weapon than to get 12 stamps. Oh my god, I got it too. That's rad. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, we got the ultimate weapon. That's insanely lucky. That is a 0.3% chance to get that. That's wild, dude. Ultimate weapons can be equipped in their dedicated weapon slots. Give you ultimate weapon abilities. Then they have a limited amount of times they can be used. Holy shit, dude. There's no way. I can't believe it. I want to see Cloud. Show me Cloud. Show me Cloud. Show me Cloud. Show me Cloud. Nope. Nope. I think that's Shell Knuckles and Citric Wand. All right, come on. Give me Shell Knuckles here. Nice. Oh, this is Floral Wand. Nice. Sick. All right, two wish list items there. Uh, I'm just going to do the last one to get the guaranteed. We'll skip on this one. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, did I get two? I just wanted the one copy. If they give me two, I'm probably going to go in. Yep, it is. Unbelievable. I got two. Yep. <laughs> Damn. Wow. I'm still I'm still holding for now. Cause that puts me down to thirty three thousand, but I still I with the with the tower and how many crystals are in the tower. And then obviously you get crystals from clearing all the uh, the other event stuff. Um, there's still a lot of crystals all in there, so I'm not worried about getting it back to 36,000. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty wild. That's pretty wild. All right, so let's do two things. First things first, we're, we're starting with the ultimate weapon right off the rip. And then one last upgrade, use the mithril ingots, get it up to 120. Gets an extra 20 ability potency, 203 physical attack, 193 magic attack, 196 magic attack. Flash of Steel that gives a full boost to both physical attack and magic attack, which means it's good for both of his builds. Crazy. And then the second that we get one of these uh, five star stones, it's immediately going into this. Well, now we gotta see it, right? Oh my god, it's just... Oh my god, that's so much extra stats, dude. That was cool. It is plus four. Okay. It is plus four. Man, giving him access to plus four attack and magic attack self-buffing is crazy. And he can do it twice. That's so strong. Ugh. 
It's so strong, dude. This thing's resistant to magic attacks, too. He just did 23,000. Like... <laughs> this thing's weak to physical moves. Oh, boy. All right, so that's that's insane. That's really strong. These ultimate weapons are going to be a... This is where the... This is... This is where the meta change actually is. It's these ultimate weapons. The banner's, the banner's good too, don't get me wrong, but like the ultimate weapons is where it's at.